This is our buffalo hunt mural diorama at the Miracle of America Story Museum in Polson, Montana. This is a 2,800 pound buffalo. Uh, it's supposed to be the largest recorded one by weight in the, in the state, but we don't know for sure, but that's what was reported to us. It was donated, we had to pay the tax memory fee, but we had an artist do the, uh, do the mural and the diorama. The Indian pony coming out of the out of the wall here with an Indian trying to get another arrow into the buffalo. The his painted his uh, pony up, circles around his eyes give greater vision to this horse. He's painted lightning streaks down his neck and on his legs to give him more speed. This pony has been on other buffalo hunts and he knows enough to get his master close enough to the buffalo to get a killing shot but yet not so close that the buffalo can turn around and gore him with his horns. When the hunt is over, the mighty hunters sit around the campfire telling hunting and war stories and smoking peace pipes and so forth. And the women have to dress out the buffalo and skin it and, and scrape the hides. Maybe, maybe melt down the, uh, or boil the hooves for glue or things or use the horns to make utensils. On a buffalo this large, the horns may have been found its way to a medicine man. And while all this is going on in the valley below, the golden eagles are waiting, flexing their wings in anticipation of waiting for the meal of entrails and, and bits and scraps that they can fly down and compete with the magpies and the crows and the coyotes and so forth. And a good way to hunt the buffalo, the best way to hunt the buffalo was with a horse. If the Indian didn't have a horse, which they didn't always, in some tribes have horses, and if they couldn't borrow one at night from a neighboring tribe, well, they could, they could shoot a coyote and they could skin it out and the pelt of the coyote be over the top of their head and they could crouch close enough to the buffalo to get a killing shot with their bow and arrow. We also have record of, a, of the shipping. The white man has been blamed for defeating the Indians through slaughtering all the buffalo. But you know, there's records of shipment from uh, Fort Benton in Montana of uh, 70,000 buffalo hides being shipped out in a particular period of time. And most of those were brought in by the Indians themselves because they liked what the white men had to offer. Uh, metal utensils and uh, beads and canvas cloth, trade cloth and so forth. But unfortunately, they also liked the fire water that the white man brought. And so that was possibly the worst thing that that white man brought to them. Most people don't realize that the beads on the, on the moccasins and other things, all the beads were made in uh, Europe and brought over by the barrels by the fur trade companies. Hudson Bay was a large one, Northwest uh, Fur Trade Company. And they, were, they, they competed against one another and uh, there was some bloodshed over the battles that they had through, uh, through rights to trade with a certain tribe or, or another. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe to the Miracle of America Museum.